Hey guys, it's Jim. Hope you're having a good day and hope you're enjoying Luminar 2018. Uh, this is for the Mac users out there and the reason why is because I keep getting the same question again and again. So I thought I'd do a video because it's easier than me having to rewrite the same thing again and again. So here's a video. And this video is all about taking your workspaces and your presets from Luminar Neptune or Luminar 2017, which you see here. See it says Luminar Neptune. And moving those over to Luminar 2018. Simple, it's straightforward, it's really easy. Let's get her done. Okay, so if you're in the Luminar Neptune, you can go to File and Show Presets Folder, right? Click on that, and now you get into this really deep, buried sort of file structure. So it's on my Mac hard drive, it's under User, it's under my name, it's in Library. Then you get into this Group Containers thing, and then over here you have your applications. You can see I'm in Luminar NA, and that is Luminar 2017. Right above it is Luminar 2018. We'll get to that in a second. That's Aurora, so you don't care about that. Um, under Luminar NA, there's a Presets folder, and then Custom, and these are custom presets, and these are a bunch that I built that I never did anything with. Uh, some of them have really cool names. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a custom preset. I'm gonna take this one called Dreadful Lemon Sky, and I'm gonna drag that mother, sorry, I'm gonna drag that dude over here to Luminar 2018 folder. I'm gonna hold it, not let go. It's gonna open up and you're gonna see presets and I'm gonna hold it over the presets folder. And there's my presets that are in Luminar 2018, but there's custom and I'm gonna drag it right onto custom, right? So there you go. I've now got these other presets that I've been building in some of my example videos that I just haven't done anything with. They're kind of trash. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but now Dreadful Lemon Sky is there. So that's cool. Um, that's a preset. Now, I'm gonna go back to this folder, which is Luminar NA, also known as Luminar 2017. The N, maybe it stands for Neptune, I don't know. Um, and I'm gonna go back to Presets. And these are my preset packs. Uh, some of these are my own creations. Some of these were free downloads that I was playing with. So variations of monochrome in the Insta Inspiration preset pack. I'm gonna grab that pack. So I'm gonna take that pack, I'm gonna do the exact same, whoops. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna grab that pack and I'm going back over here to Luminar 2018 and under presets and I'm just gonna drop it right there. And I didn't get it in the right place. So that's my bad. There you go. The preset folder now contains my preset packs, which I already had there. The analog effects preset pack by my friend A.D. Wheeler, which is free on the MacFun site, and it's awesome. Um, and now Insta Inspiration preset pack from 2017, I've now dragged to 2018. So that's presets. You can do that with, if you bought my preset packs, you'll find them in this folder structure under presets. It'll say Cityscapes or Movable Feast or Wanderlust uh, or whatever, right? And if you didn't buy them, that's fine. If you want them, they're on my blog. Um, but anyway, you just drag them and kick them over from 17, drag them over to the presets folder on 18. So now you can, now you may see workspaces, by the way, we're gonna get into that. But if you're not interested in presets and you're just back in Luminar Neptune, you can say file, show workspaces folder. It's taking you back to the same place. It's all in this group container sort of thing under Luminar NA, but here's workspaces. So. I just made up a stupid workspace in Luminar 17 and I called it My Amazing Workspace. But I wanna get My Amazing Workspace in Luminar 2018. So same thing, click and drag, hold it over at Luminar 2018 and you'll see workspaces there and just drop it there. And so now My Amazing Workspace shows up next to these other workspaces I've got in Luminar 2018. So all that stuff is gone from Neptune. I'm gonna close Neptune. I'm not gonna save because I don't care. And here's Luminar 2018, right? New UI and all that stuff. So let's go look for this stuff and make sure it's there. First, the presets. Well, I'm in the user category and there's Dreadful Lemon Sky. So boom, the Dreadful Lemon Sky has been applied. It's in my user preset, which is the folder I'm in, in Luminar 2018, that's right there. And by the way, here's Insta Inspiration Pack, the same Insta uh, Instagram Inspiration Pack that was available for free. I think it's free on the uh, MacFun site. And there's all those filters set up as their own category. So you can take mine and drag them over if you bought them, or if you have custom presets, drag them over and they'll show up here in the um, user preset folder. So that's presets. Let me show you workspaces. I'm gonna clear that, clear workspace. Okay, 
If I want that workspace, here's my amazing workspace. Same filters as before, and there it is. Now it's a workspace, so nothing happened to the photo, but all the filters are in the workspace, and there it is. If you have other ones, you can drag them over, plus there's a bunch of ones that are built in, and I use workspaces all the time. I did a video, a couple videos back about how I, I do them in order. I do light, detail, and color, and these are those three workspaces, and that video has a link where you can download them for free. So that's how you get workspaces and presets, either user presets or custom preset packs from Luminar 2017 to the new one, Luminar 2018. Hope it helps, friends. Have fun out there. See you next time. Adios.